So uh, I just wanted to make a little video to hopefully uh, give you guys a hand with the quadratic uh, area word problem uh, worksheet. Um, so I'll work through the second um, example problem that's on the sheet, um, and hopefully I'll show some strategies that are uh, applicable to all the other problems. Um, so this problem starts out um, by telling you you have a garden um, that's originally uh, five feet by four feet. So you can write those quantities down. So the original um, length is going to be five feet and the original width is going to be four feet. Okay. Um, and then they tell you that each side is increased by a certain amount and the new area um, is 56 square feet. Um, so how you can visualize that is we kind of have an additional amount of feet added to the length and an additional amount of feet added to the width. Um, and then the new uh, area is 56. So um, how we could look at this is, let's say this is our width. Okay, so it starts at four. Okay, four feet. Then we kind of add some amount, we'll call that X. We don't really know what it is, but we're trying to find that. And same thing with our length. So our length we could say is five feet. And then we have some little amount here that's also X, okay? Um, and so if we draw in the rest of the garden, that's what we got. And the area is 56 uh, square feet, okay? So uh, the question then is how do we set this up? So um, remember the area formula, the area of any rectangle is just its length times its width, okay? So the width is gonna be four plus x, and the length is gonna be five plus x, okay? So we can set um, our equation up this way. So we have four plus x times five plus x equals 56, okay? Um, and then there's a few different things you can do. Um, you might wanna start by um, distributing, okay? So we'd have four times five, that gives us 20, and then 4 times x, that gives us 4x, then x times 5, that gives us 5x, and x times x gives us x squared, that also equals 56, okay? Um, and then we want to combine um, our like terms, so we have x squared um, plus 9x, okay, plus 20 equals 56, okay? Um, and from there, you kind of have two options. You can either subtract um, the 56 over here, um, or you can subtract the 20 over here and then try to complete the square. Um, either way, it'll, it'll work, um, and you'll wind up uh, getting a solution. Um, but, um, you know, it's, it's kind of uh, up to uh, personal preference. Um, so why don't we try, uh, let's try completing the square. So maybe we'll subtract this 20 here. Okay, um, so we have x squared plus 9x equals 36. Okay, um, and so if we're completing the square, notice our x squared term we have to start. Um, so we're going to take this 9, we're going to divide it by 2, so that gives us 4.5. Um, okay, so 9 over 2. Um, and then we're going to square that. Okay, so that's going to give us um, 81 over 4. Okay, um, so we'll have x squared plus 9x plus 81 over 4. Okay, um, and then that's going to equal 36, and then we're going to also add this 81 over 4 over here. Okay, um, so then we complete the square, we get x plus nine halves, and that's all squared. Um, and then there's a matter of, uh, of putting this over um, a common denominator. So 36, um, we wanna put it over four, so we're gonna have to multiply 36 by four. So that gives us four times 30 is 120, um, and then six times four is 24, so that gives us 144 plus 81 all over four, okay? Um, and then we're going to have to take 
um, the square root of both sides. So if we take the square root of this side, um, we get x plus 9 halves. Um, and then if we take the square root of this side, 